back to my channel today i would like to discuss about content security policy today i will walk you through script source directive and report uri directive in content security policy first of all let's see what is content security policy i will explain in a detailed manner suppose uh, you are developing a kind of product uh, in which there is a front end and back end suppose you want to embed few javascript files into your front end you can able to embed from third party sites or, or from your internal uh, sites as well suppose you don't want to embed any third party scripts into your website you want to only embed few javascript files from your internal same origin or internal server where your website is hosting on so if you want to restrict these kind of things you can able to restrict them via content security policy so it provides a mitigation from accesses and data injection attacks and also it provides a way for website administrators to declare which sources of content are considered trusted and thereby reduce the risk of such attacks so let's get our hands dirty with the hands-on lab so here i'm having one express.js code here if you see here i'm running my uh, server in 3000 port here i am defining content security policy like this script source self that means uh, there is a condition like it should only allow the scripts which are hosted in uh, same origin it won't embed any kind of js files for example if you want to embed any third party javascripts which are hosted in some xyz.com slash javascript files if you want to embed that files into your website if you want to run those files it won't allow because we are specifying the condition as script source self uh, suppose if you want to violate this condition then immediately browser will uh, send a report violation report to this endpoint so here i have mentioned script source and report uri directive let's see how it will work and how it will prevent from cross-site scripting attacks so uh, <coughs> let's uh, run this first so before running it i just want to comment this out let's see before content security policy how this uh, script will uh, behave no this is just dot js yeah the server is running on this url let me access it okay here it is saying hello csv with report uri so here in the code i have mentioned html file and here i am executing an inline script like console.log this inline script will be uh, reported if there is a policy violation see here i am executing an inline script and uh, i am mentioning header one like this so it is the output uh, let's see whether this inline script has been executed or not if you see here the inline script has been executed that is fine because until now we didn't specify any content security policy we are not removing any inline script to be executed so everything works fine 
that is cool okay now let's see the endpoint which is vulnerable to reflected accesses for example if i access user user input input type user input let's execute with my name see here it is displaying user input raju for example if i change it to execute a script like this yeah it is executing it is rendering so um, it is vulnerable to process scripting now let's see how we can mitigate this process scripting using this csp header now let's uh, enable this content security policy for all the endpoints uh, if you can if you see here uh, here i'm now i'm mentioning script source should be self and uh, report URL like this now let me rerun my server so if i enter this endpoint it is executing the inline script but i have mentioned the condition like the script should be embedded from self that means it should be embedded from localhost 3000 slash js files something like that only that script should be executed into my web pages i don't allow any inline scripts and i don't allow any external js scripts should be uh, rendered into my web page let's see whether it is working or not i'm running it now let's go to root directory yeah if you can see here i am getting error messages and this one is not printed what it is giving see refuse to execute inline script because it violates the following content security policy directive script source self because it is violating that condition that i have mentioned in content security policy that is why it is not executing okay if i try to execute um xss whether uh, it will work or not let's see see it is giving me it violates the following content security policy again so it is also suggesting us that if you want to enable inline scripts into your uh, front end file you have to use this unsafe inline for your content security policy so if you add this one then it will again execute the inline script but for my use case i don't want to execute any inline scripts i don't want to execute any external third party js files into my web pages so i have defined this one like this and since there is a policy violation let's see how browser will send this violation report to me so if you observe it carefully it is hitting localhost 3000 csp violation report and uh, here i have defined that route so it is trying to report to me if you see the payload so in this way it will send the violation report to me blocked uri inline so it blocked inline script execution and uh, document uri where the attacker is trying to inject uh, inline script and uh, effective directory script sample source file violated directive etc so we can get this uh, violation data and we can store it into database and uh, we can use this data um, how, how we want to use in the future so in this way 
if you are enable content security policy then you can strictly maintain some conditions like from where you want to import the javascript files or else uh, css files even font styles also you can restrict that we have seen the conditions which violates this particular content security policy so since inline scripts doesn't obey or violate this policy that is why uh, it is blocking the execution of that javascript and immediately it is reporting to this uh, localhost 3000 this endpoint csp violation endpoint now you can ask me uh, which conditions will it satisfy or which workflows will it obey with this content security policy okay suppose if you want now i'll explain here if you can see in the same origin i am hosting my js file that is same origin script.js file where whenever someone is hitting this uh, js file it will immediately return this uh, javascript code so now i have hosted this javascript file into the same origin on same server so now i can able to embed this javascript into my front end uh, html file so that it will be get executed because it satisfy this condition script source self so there won't be any violations let's run this and see now i am running this sp positive yes it is running on this one since i imported uh, js from the same source of the same origin i guess it will run smoothly it will execute that js I have run this uh, localhost 3000 see my javascript got executed script from the same origin why because i hosted the js file on the same origin on the same server i hosted this js file like this and i embedded that into my html file that is why it is execute thank you guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe it will give me a boost up to do more stuff like this